short video on the Varia VS3. Uh, what I think is an incredibly well thought out, designed and engineered grinder. 38 mil conicals, a variety of different burr sets, which I'll review. As you can see, I have two of them here side by side. Uh, I'll review the different burr sets in a later review. But just to show you one instance of how well designed this is, uh, you'll see four springs here, which when they're torqued down a bit is going to, uh, with this dial grinder here, will give you a coarser or a finer grind. Now, the DF3, which is a 64 mil, this is 38, much larger grinder, has three such springs, albeit a little larger. The niche, which is also very well thought out, 63 mil conical has two springs. This little Varia is so well engineered, in my view, and these four springs, instead of the potential two, is a good example of how thoroughly it's been designed. So, just like the niche, which many of you will know, this screws on effortlessly. There's no need to try and find the thread. And there's zero. So close, it's stopped. Burrs are touching. Spot on. Well engineered. Easy to use. Uh, magnetic lid, which on the later models is actually probably a little bit too strong. This is one of the earlier models, and nice and easy, just about the right to be able to flick off. It does come with a bellows, but I prefer not to use the bellows, and you'll see in the review, I really don't think they need a bellows. So I do RDT with the draw grinder. This is a one-handed video because I lost the tripod. <laughs> so forgive me a bit, but let's see if we can do this one hand. I've pre-weighed the beans. You can hot start. I don't normally hot start. It's got a reasonable bead and feeding chute, so they're not all just cascading onto the burrs at the same time. And I think from memory, this is a fairly fine grind setting, but from memory about 40-45 seconds to grind the 18 grams. Mid-range in terms of noise, not too noisy, not too quiet. It certainly doesn't rattle around in the grinder like some of them do. Hard to see anything happening there, but it is grinding. Every now and then a bean, if you use RDT, will get stuck on the hopper just because of the moisture on the bean, but very little retention. I reckon between about 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 of a gram. So all ready for the pour now. ECM Puristica. Scale's ready to go. And it's off to the races. The light roast. And eight grams out. They come together in a central pour in a second. Although I'm not too concerned about that. It's mainly the colour consistency across the basket I'm after. That's pretty good. 24 grams. And pretty close to 36. Um, the Hypernova Burrs, which I am using and prefer, produce a simply delicious, bright, um, clear espresso. Uh, light roast, medium light, medium, haven't tried it for anything darker, but absolutely delicious. That's the very VS3. Oh, I did want to add the power brick. Now, I've deliberately left this out. It's not overly big. I've seen much bigger, and it will hide, probably not behind the grinder so well, <laughs> but
But behind most espresso machines, you can just tuck it away there, or you do what I do if you have a bench like this, or you put it underneath the bench. I don't have an issue with it, uh, but some people will, especially if you've got limited bench space or a small espresso machine. But that is the Varia VF3. I forgot to mention, and someone will ask, the cups are decent espresso tipsy cups, they're called, uh, because of the tipping like nature. It's designed so that you can have a sip and get your nose in here to get an idea of the aroma at the same time. Uh, ceramic, matte white, beautiful texture, I think beautiful little shape, and kind of enamored with them, so I have a couple more on the way.